Hey Jess, a year ago there were seven Kern County teams playing in the semifinals. Tonight we just have a final four and of course that includes the Eagles who are playing in Division Three. But for this BCHS team, it has been about playing with a chip on their shoulder. From the start of the season, the team believed people counted them out because they lost some star power to graduation. But really it's just meant that new leadership and new seniors are taking charge. And that's what happened this year already with some of those seniors, including senior quarterback Dominic Gamboni, who has led the offense with weapons like newcomer Ronnie Simrel, Chris Gutierrez, and pass-catching running back David Stevenson. All of those guys, seniors, with the team getting better every week. But then adversity struck again. The Eagles lost their first ever league game under head coach Darren Carr, resulting in losing out on a league championship. Once again, it was up to the leaders like two-way star Ben Urosik, who will get to play tonight following an appeal on ejections from last week's game to rebuild the team's confidence. And that's what they've done. And now they're about to face a 10-1 Tigers team and a quarterback who has accounted for over 3,000 total offensive yards this season. And of course, getting Ben back ensures some confidence for this team already. And the team has talked about just how hungry they are to reach that championship game yet again, not just to prove to themselves that they can do what last year's team did and to prove to those naysayers, but also for these seniors to make sure that they're leaving a legacy behind and bringing a championship back to BCHS. And of course, with that, they're not the only team playing to get back to back to the central section final. There's going to be the Liberty Patriots as well. And with that, we are going to send it up to Clovis, where Matt Lively is standing by with a preview of those Liberty Patriots, who again are trying to play for a back to back central section run, just like these Bakersfield Christian Eagles. Hey, Matt. Hey, Kerry, yeah, I'm here at Veterans Memorial Stadium for what's one of the more bizarre rivalries in high school football in the state of California. Even though these two schools play almost two hours away from each other, the Buchanan Bears and the Liberty Patriots see each other quite often. In fact, they actually took each other on in week four of this regular season with Buchanan getting the win. But what's odd enough is they actually met in this exact same game, the CIF Central Section D1 semis last year and that game did not go Buchanan's way. In fact, down 23 to 21, Liberty marched down the field and Braden Blevins nailed a 38 yard field goal as time expired to win it and send them to the Valley title game. But it's a new year and there are some roadblocks for the Pats. Liberty is without senior QB Hayden Mann tonight. He had surgery two weeks ago and is being sidelined for the second straight week. Sophomore QB Carson Woods will get the start. He was the JV QB this whole season and last week he threw for 129 yards, a touchdown and a pick. But if the Pats want a shot in this one, they're going to have to stop five star running back Kendall Milton. The senior is committed to Georgia and is the second ranked back in the nation. He had over 40 schools interested, including Alabama, Florida and Michigan. Of course, he is going to Georgia. But hey, Actually, the Pats have a star of their own. It's three-star wide receiver Ramon Henderson. He's had schools like Notre Dame, Oklahoma, and Washington looking at, hi at him. It's uh, set to be an all-time classic here in Clovis between the Bears and the Patriots. You can catch us on Twitter at 23FNL. We'll have highlights of the whole game. And, of course, for the entire coverage of tonight's contest, make sure to tune in on Friday Night Live during the 11 p.m. newscast. For now, I'm Matt Lively. Back to you in studio, Jess.